I reported over a month ago on March 10th that I believed that the deep state was manipulating Donald Trump towards war with North Korea. On March 14th, I reported that the elite SEAL Team 6 was linking up with Delta Force to join the massive war drills being held in the Korean Peninsula and that these elite forces were training to remove North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un from power. I offered my assessment that it is not normal for the U.S. military to broadcast the training activities and covert missions of their elite squads. Therefore, the release of the information was most likely part of a psychological operation to spook North Korea's dictator Kim Jong-un. Kim is a young man who has not been in power for many years and is infamously paranoid about the threats to his security. He had several military leaders and his own uncle murdered with anti-aircraft guns because he was afraid that they might try to overthrow him. It was my contention that the USA was using psychological warfare to try to provoke Kim into responding with a show of force in the form of additional missile tests, something that would give the USA the appearance of justification to attack him and overthrow his regime. I said this, quote, The USA is behaving like a schoolyard bully who wants to beat some wimpy kid up, but first he has to prod the kid into taking the first swing so that the bully doesn't get in trouble for starting it. The USA wants to take North Korea's nukes out of the picture. We are preparing for a war with China, but in that war, North Korea could nuke South Korea. So we first have to have contrived justification to remove the North Korean regime so we can neutralize their WMDs. We've got 30,000 U.S. troops sitting along the North-South Korean border who are at risk. In subsequent videos, I detailed how I expected to see the geostrategic operation play out. Dozens of people ridiculed my assessment, but time has validated each of my predictions. I have analyzed the dates, sequences, and timing of North Korea's previous five nuclear tests, which took place in October 2006, May 2009, February 2013, January 2016, and September of 2016. By researching the geopolitical news events surrounding those dates, it became clear to me that Kim Jong-un would likely seek to conduct another test following the massive 2017 Full Eagle Joint Military Exercise between the United States and South Korea. The most important day of the year on the North Korean calendar is April 14th, the birthday anniversary of the nation's founder, Kim Il-sung, the grandfather of Kim Jong-un. The celebration is called the Day of the Sun, and it is North Korea's version of our July 4th celebration, complete with large parades. Traditionally, these parades are used to display North Korea's military troops and hardware. It is also a day when Kim Jong-un frequently conducts missile tests. This fact was known to the U.S. military intelligence community. It is my hypothesis that the U.S.'s PSYOP against Kim Jong-un, including President Trump's strike on Syria, was timed to occur just prior to the 2017 celebration so that North Korea would be sure to carry out a significant missile test or even its sixth nuclear test. As I said previously, the United States has skillfully manipulated Kim Jong-un into taking what will amount to a first swing, thereby giving the U.S. the justification it is seeking to attack. This is also evidenced by the fact that the U.S. Navy has consciously positioned its ships in the same direction that North Korea usually fires its missiles. The USA's anti-missile systems will easily knock out the test missiles and could use the incident to suggest that Kim had launched a first strike against America or Japan. I cannot help but notice that the Gulf of Tonkin is not that far away, the site where President Lyndon B. Johnson claimed that the Viet Cong had tried to torpedo U.S. naval vessels, sparking the Vietnam War. Multiple news outlets are repeating a story by a North Korea watchdog group named 38 North. The group claims that commercial satellite imagery of North Korea's Pyongri nuclear test site shows a significant uptick in activity around its north portal, as well as increased activity at the site's command center, suggesting that North Korea plans to conduct another underground nuclear test inside the tunnel, a move that would almost guarantee a U.S. military response. There is a small vehicle or trailer just outside the north portal entrance. Normally, water is flowing through this tunnel, but the satellite imagery taken this week seems to indicate that the water flow has stopped. 
There appears to be a small trailer that has been moved into place on the road south of the portal. Outside of the main administrative area, the courtyards contain approximately 11 pallets of equipment covered with tarps. While there is activity in this area, there is no activity taking place at the portals in the south or west or elsewhere at the facility. We have no way to confirm that North Korea is preparing to explode an underground nuke in the tunnel, but that is what many believe this site is being prepped for, including one official from the National Security Council who spoke to Voice of America. These developments are taking place as the Japanese Navy deploys its destroyers to link up with the U.S. Naval Strike Force led by the flagship USS Carl Vinson. Kim Jong-un has ordered an immediate evacuation of 600,000 residents from the capital of Pyongyang in preparation for war. For ongoing coverage, subscribe to the End Times News Report and please share these videos with your social networks. For the End Times News, I'm Jake Morfonios.